Today we're going to talk about some misconceptions with lumbar flexion. For those who don't know, lumbar flexion is flexing into lumbar spine. Now we get a lot of people that when we test a toe touch, which is a pretty rudimentary test, that they want to really impress us with their toe touch and their excellent form. So if you've ever seen those drinking birds that kind of go through repetitive motion, they like to stay as flat as they can and go down and touch, which is sometimes what we see in yoga. But I'm here to debunk a little bit of that. So if we try to stay neutral or even sometimes extended in the lumbar spine and go down through a flexion pattern, we're actually having to ask other parts of the body to work more to go through that flexion pattern, which we're asking for more of a hip hinge, probably more laxity through the hamstrings, more pliability through there, also more thoracic flexion to get to the end range there. Now, ideal lumbar flexion, and not just lumbar flexion, but whole body flexion patterning would be a nice load share. So every vertebrae is flexing the same amount to end up in the end result of full flexion. So it's going to look like a nice uniform curve because we all know that an arch is one of the strongest structures that we find naturally in nature and also in engineering. So we want to recreate that in a flexion pattern. We get a lot of misconceptions that, well, I don't want to flex my low back in a squat or a deadlift. Well, no, you don't, but the thing is you want to stay neutral. Neutral is an extended north flex. It's in the middle, but if you live in extension, we have to at some point get you to flex because your everyday life is going to call on you to flex, and we want to be able to load that properly, load share across many joints instead of picking one area to distribute all the energy. So first of all, we got to find out where is that flexion pattern breaking down. Are you stuck in the lumbar spine? Is there maybe a posterior chain extensibility issue? And some of the fun things that we'll do in a fun test for you, if you have trouble touching your toes, say you get stuck and you got about six inches left, take a towel, a coat, whatever you want, squeeze it in between your legs, give it a good squeeze, go down, see if you can touch your toes. If that's the case, that might not even be a mobility issue. That might be a neurologic stability issue. Um, that's just a fun test. The other thing we need to look at is do you truly have, if you, you know, a lot of people say, I can't touch my toes, but we sit them down on the ground and all of a sudden they can touch their toes. Well, again, that you're not fighting gravity now. Your body's going to feel like it's more safe. It's going to let you go. So one of the big things that we do in the clinic, even if we have a hot low back or a flexion pattern issue, we'll still take people through flexion, which a lot of people think is not safe or we shouldn't be doing. One of the easiest ways to do that if you're at home, get a belt, a rope, this is a piece of climbing webbing right here, attach it to a doorknob. Now the whole goal with this, we talk about moving every segment up off the floor one at a time. So you're trying to curl as much as you can when you come up. So we start all the way down here and we're going to start with our chin to chest. So we're getting cervical flexion, then thoracic, then lumbar, then lumbosacral. So it would look like this. And you're going to even see on me, when I hit about here, it's hard for me to even flex through there. So those are the areas that you really want to crank down on. Give a good breath out and see if you can get those to flex. Now we're using this because when we're introducing a new pattern to the body, we want to make it easy. If it's hard on the body, the body's going to cheat to get there. So when we're repatterning or grooving a new pattern, we have to make it easy. So again, some of the misconceptions about flexion that it's dangerous for the lumbar spine. Well, true, the most susceptible position or loading position for the lumbar spine for a disc injury is lumbar flexion with rotation, but nobody lives their whole life without doing that movement, so we need to actually get better at doing that movement.